Thank you. Look at this big bow. Wow. Well, hi everybody. I will take as much time as you want, so don't feel like you've. Uh, uh, Barack Obama's first 100 days. What do you think he's been able to do for Ohio, maybe starting with the stimulus money? Well, Ohio would be uh, in very difficult circumstances without the stimulus dollars. Um, I think many people don't realize that uh, we would have had to have slashed the state, the state government. Uh, tuition would have gone up. Uh, we would have had to, to see teachers laid off. Uh, uh, highway and road construction projects would not have taken place. Um, people would have been um, reduced uh, and removed from the Medicaid rolls. So um, the stimulus resources were absolutely critical to Ohio's ability to continue to provide basic services and invest in, in infrastructure and, and, uh, and highway development and bridge construction. All of those things uh, are only possible because of these stimulus dollars. And so I think that was a huge part of the success of Barack Obama's first 100 days. Speaking of um, that money, there are a lot of calls now that are saying that this budget is unsustainable, that next year or two years from now you're going to have a problem because you don't have this money, and now you've got the House adding $91 million into their own spending. What are you, you know, are you uh, People say it's one-time money, uh, and that's because it's one-time money. And uh, so you have a choice. You could just say to the federal government, uh, we don't want it, keep it and not build roads and bridges and uh, not pay for Medicaid and allow college tuition to explode and underfund education. Um, I've chosen to take the resources uh, and uh, it's helping us greatly. Now, does that mean that all of our problems have been solved? Absolutely not. Uh, they haven't all been solved and we will continue, I will continue to make the decisions that must be made as I am confronted with those decisions. But uh, it would be... Well, what we do in um, in uh, in two years, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. My responsibility right now is for the 2010-2011 budget, and we, you know, it's a difficult budget. Uh, and, and so, uh, I have demonstrated, I think, a willingness to make tough decisions. Uh, and I have made tough decisions. I will make tough decisions in the future. But in the meantime, I'm going to do everything I can to continue to see that the people of this state get what they need. And if that means using federal stimulus dollars, I'm going to use those dollars. And I would challenge those who um, don't like the way I'm using those resources, I challenge them to tell me how they would use them differently. Uh, and I've got an open door. If anyone wants to come in uh, from the opposition party and sit down at my, my table in my office and tell me what they would do with those resources, that uh, would be different than how I'm using them. I will listen to them, and I offer that. To, I offer that to any of my detractors. Uh, I'm always willing to talk and listen and learn. You know, someone else may have a good idea, and if they do, I'll use it. Governor, the Senate might turn your budget education proposal upside down and inside out. Are you confident that you'll have something by July 1st that you can live with and that will serve the state well, or do you think there'll be damage to it over there? You know, I, uh, I want to have uh, confidence in my Senate colleagues, uh, both the Republicans and Democrats, um, and I know that sometimes the rhetoric gets a little heated, uh, but I continue to believe we have a good plan and that there are people of uh, uh, good intentions and goodwill and people who are nobly motivated uh, in the Senate of both parties. And I, I remain hopeful that we will come out with uh, an education plan that uh, will meet uh, the criteria that I have laid out and that will move Ohio forward and that we can, um, both uh, houses and the both parties can feel good about. The House is relying on uh, more optimistic revenue numbers than yes. uh, your budget director uh, yes. came up with. Is yes. that wise at this point? Well, you know, the House made a decision to use the LSC budget estimates. Budget estimates are um, estimates, and uh, um, the more conservative estimates uh, came from my Office of Budget Management, and the LSC had uh, somewhat more positive estimates, but I think uh, because they are estimates, it is, it's legitimate to use either. Um, uh, I don't think there's any way to know for sure uh, 
which is more accurate um, because we are living in a, in a fluid, dynamic, economic set of circumstances, and so uh, it's, it's difficult to predict uh, what the economy is going to be doing a month or six months or two years from now. Representative Morgan is asking the Ohio Supreme Court to appoint a mediator to the case. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not sure um, that there is a case. Um, I'm not sure that there's a, a problem to be mediated. Um, the court, um, when they gave their ruling, indicated that we were um, responding to the good representative, um, and they told us that we should continue to do so. And so uh, that's what we're doing. So I don't know exactly what there is to mediate, but if, if there's something that needs to be mediated, I believe in mediation and uh, people coming together and talk, so I'm not ruling out mediation. I just am not sure what the problem is that needs to be remediated. Is he just trying to make you look bad here? Uh, I don't, you know, I can't, uh, I can't get into the heart and soul of the representative, uh, uh, so I, I would not uh, choose to make a judgment about what he may be trying to do or what his motives may be. Governor, go ahead. Governor Strickland.